Now, most of us in the room here, maybe all of us and those online, have nothing we can do directly about what happens in the geopolitical world of planet Earth today. But we have our own sphere of operation. at a spiritual level. And I, I wanna be very what, specific about what I'm speaking of. I'm not talking about uh, the spiritual world someplace else. I'm talking about our spiritual nature, our spiritual capacity. That is where the harmonization takes place. And then everything else in our human experience can integrate into that. So it comes down to how we operate. And it's true for us individually in the worlds that we all operate in. And our ability to bring the harmonization of love into that world is at stake for us individually. And then in our work together, the same is true. What is our ability to harmonize together, actually, to experience the reality of that? Not some kind of theocracy or what spiritually styled dictatorship, an actual spiritual harmonization that is born out of our harmonization with something within ourselves that we find in common with each other so that we gain the ability to weave a common fabric of humanity among us, to experience that, to weave it among ourselves. But how do we do that if we're not re dealing with the real thing? If there's not simply ego at play, trying to do something wonderful, build a tower to the sky. How about building it out of the real thing? real harmonization with one another. That's a task, no? For any of us who you know, are, have given serious thought to that. Of course, I, I imagine we all have in some way. We all have whatever it is, family experiences, community experiences, experiences in, at work, within organizations, whatever it is. So that issue is there for us all in our own individual worlds, but here we are together. How about that harmonization? Do you give any thought to that? I do. I might even say every day. Uh, how would I say it? Say it um, you know, sometimes you feel like hitting your head against the wall or something. Or, or like, <laughs> how how is there going to be harmonization in this world? Well. I guess the way it happens is that we look around for those who are conscious of the need for it and doing something about it. And yet even there, it's impossible to do on an egoic basis. The, the ego is totally incapable of bringing spiritual harmonization. And so there has to be some kind of surrender in the whole picture. We're not going to do it humanly. And yet, 
where there is attunement with something that's higher than we are, an, or, an ordering power that is larger than the human, when there's real attunement with that, and where there are people who are interested in allowing the entire human experience to integrate with that larger harmony and who undertake that seriously, there's great possibility. <laughs>